pretty boy. He's a black and white spotted saddle gelding. Seven years old. Fourteen two hands tall. There's his kind eye shot. Pretty, pretty little thing. Glenda's gonna hop up on him. Show you how good he is. You see my camera shaking. I'm sure you'll see that head's horse shaking after a while. There's flies. Horse flies. But it's pretty today. We need to do some videoing. <laughs> Another one just like the rest of them we take today. Just gentle, quiet, good gated, great trail horses. And just really pretty. Hard to beat. How do you beat that? Really good gated too. I like that white tail on that black body. He's not a multitasker. He can't walk and poop. That white tail sure looks pretty on that black body. You can tell we've been around each other too long. <laughs> you can see he's one of those. We're pretty close to what we'd call a babysitter. He'll lead. He'll follow. Loves to follow. He'll follow another horse to the ends of this earth. So if you're needing a guest horse or a you know third horse, one of those one of those things, he is he's the kind right here and really good natural gait. And you'll watch her ride him. And all she's doing is collecting her rain. She's not having to hold him or make him do anything. He does it on his own. <laughs> I'm telling you, we've got horse flies bad right now. But a lot of our horses, you'll see that. If you watch us ride, John, Glenda, and me, you'll see that we, we don't do much to make them do what they do. They have to be very generic around here. We sell to a lot of people that... One, have never had a horse or had, you know, horses 30 years ago and want to get back into it. And we don't need horses that have buttons, that have, if you touch their, their ribs with your boot, we don't, we don't need them to side pass. We need them to just do this. They just do their thing. All by himself. Pretty boy coming into the obstacle course. I know y'all hear Glenda talk on her videos about if you know the basics of riding, you can ride these horses. And that's very true. That's that that's our goal. When I talk about you don't want buttons, we don't sell these cutting horses, these are any horses. But you do need to know how to stop your horse, make your horse go, back him up. Like she says, the basics, basics of riding. You need to have the balance. You need to make your horse mind. There's one of our biggest problems. People don't make their horses mind. They make them. Horses ain't got a really good walk. goes on to the trailer and they will load on trailers that have a ramp don't have a ramp and have one of those silly little rear tack rooms horse colicking. People say, well, you gotta make them walk, you gotta make them walk. Please don't do that. When you have a belly ache, what's the last thing you want to do? Move around. If you have your trailer, hook them up, hook your truck up to it, and take your horse on the bumpiest ride you can get. If Even if it's to the vet, you take the old dirt road. That bounce, and you know every time you step your horse onto the trailer, what's he gonna do? Go on the poop. Best way to get a horse. So high for short folks. Short fat folks.
she mentioned it the same way, you know, if you, you got a bellyache, you don't want to walk around, well, if you got a colic and baby, what do you do? You rock them, you shake them, like that trailer does. comes a pretty boy down to the creek. This is this is what we sell these good gentle trail horses. Gotta make them go straight. <laughs> People say these gated horses are tripping. They don't watch what they're doing. They're loose as goose. This is proof right here. Up and under. They can be set sure-footed. I've seen quarter horses that tripped and fell before. <laughs> 